Keith Cahoon, exclusive satellite forecast of weather here in the islands and around the world. This is KHON TV, Honolulu, Hawaii. The Channel 2 News is next. Weather officials sound a new alert for Hurricane Iniki. President Bush takes to the airway. The Channel 2 News with Joe Moore, Hawaii's number one news. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday, the 10th of September. A little after 8 o'clock tonight, the National Weather Service issued a hurricane warning for the islands of Kauai and Ni'ihau. That means Hurricane Aniki could hit the northern islands within 24 hours. At this hour, there is also a tropical storm warning in effect for the island of Oahu and a tropical storm watch in effect for Maui. Emergency workers are closely monitoring the storm tonight. Bill Brennan has the State civil defense workers have been called into the State Emergency Operations Center tonight. They're preparing for the possibility that Hurricane Aniki could hit Kauai within 24 hours. Right now, the hurricane is located 340 miles south of Lihue. 30-foot waves are expected to hit the island tomorrow. The civil defense urges people to get prepared and make some emergency plans while there's still time. I think arrangements to make sure they have a battery-powered radio. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, stay in touch with the media, both radio and television. Uh, for the latest information on this particular storm as it moves toward Kauai. Price says the Navy and the National Guard have been notified and are helping to track the storm. Emergency management teams on Kauai will also be working throughout the night. The effects of the storm are already being felt on Oahu tonight. High surf has kept rescue workers busy. The high surf has the Navy moving ships out of Pearl Harbor tonight. The recent devastation caused by Hurricane Andrew in Florida and Typhoon Omar on Guam has made people more sensitive to the destructive power of nature. The phone book contains emergency checklists that people should spend some time looking at tonight. Civil Defense's price says a little preparation can go a long way. So if you're living in a floodplain or close to a floodplain, you could get severe, uh, heavy rainfalls in that plain very quickly. And uh, these are the kind of things that we ask people to take a look at and uh, uh, make preparations to try and uh, uh, minimize the effects that we know will occur if this hurricane keeps moving the way it is. The bottom line, Price says, is to take this hurricane seriously. Hurricanes are unpredictable, and it's not known whether, when, or where Hurricane Iniki will hit. But Price says you have to respect what it can do. Bill Brennan, Channel 2 News. Again, weather officials tonight are cautioning viewers to stay alert, but that there is no reason to panic. They say effects of what would amount to a tropical storm on Oahu would be first felt tomorrow afternoon at the earliest. The storm could bring winds on Oahu from 36 to 74 miles per hour and gusts could be higher. Because of the massive size of this hurricane, the Garden Island is expected to feel stronger effects of the storm. Channel 2 News will keep you up to date on the latest information of this storm. KHON TV, the Channel 2 Morning News. Thank you for joining us on the Channel 2 Morning News on this day of hurricane warnings in Hawaii, September the 11th. I'm Howard Dushevsky. And I'm Leslie Wilcox. We have a lot to tell you in the next hour, and we're going to be devoting most of this hour to the latest on the approaching hurricane and hurricane preparations going on on Kauai and Oahu. We will be bringing you experts live in studio, experts with the latest on weather and emergency preparations and government officials as well. Iniki in Hawaiian means to pinch, and in Hawaii we are going to feel more than a pinch, particularly on Maui. There are hurricane warnings posted for Oahu and Kauai and Niihau after the hurricane took a turn overnight toward the north. The very latest information is that the center of the hurricane is now 220 miles south-southwest of Lihue, heading toward Kauai at a speed of 13 miles per hour. The winds are 140 miles per hour with gusts up to 160 miles per hour. Kauai and Niihau are already starting to feel increasing winds. Surf is rising along the south and west shores, but the weather service says it won't be until 4 o'clock to 9 o'clock this afternoon and evening that Kauai and Niihau get the worst of what is coming, and on Oahu, the worst of the winds should come at about 9 o'clock tonight.
And lastly, we also want to let everybody know that all public schools on Oahu and Kauai have been called off. They are closed today because of the approaching hurricane. In addition, many private schools on Oahu are announcing they will not be... Information for instructions. Stay in shelters or homes until the all-clear message is broadcast. The sirens will not be sounded for the all-clear. Repeat, the sirens will not be sounded for the all-clear. Avoid using the telephone except for emergency. Handicapped and others who need assistance and do not have family or friends who can help, call 911 or Oahu Civil Defense at 523. Somebody put 